Okay, in this video, I want to go over uh, templates and setting up your workspace because as with any tool in SketchUp, you want to have a workspace that you're happy with. Um, several things that you might want to do in terms of the template. Now, many people like having a person right there. Some other people don't. Um, the colors might be something you like or you don't. In any case, you want to set all of that up um, so that when you start with a new model, you're uh, ready where you want to be, basically. So there are different ways to doing this. There are a bunch of templates that ship with SketchUp. If you go to the preferences, um, right here, the program preferences, then under template, you see quite a few of them in there. So this is the simple template. Uh, it's metric two. There's an architectural template. There are other ones right down here. So you can already pick and choose whichever one you like to begin with. So you see architectural template is a little more muted in terms of colors. So those are the ones that are, the, this is going to be the template that starts up when uh, you start a new model. Alrighty. Some other things that you might want to do is actually modifying a template because let's assume you don't like to see a person there. So you can go ahead and just delete that person because she's just stored in the template file as anything else. If you like something else there, <laughs> basically go into the template file and um, delete and add and save it again. Now, that's one part. Second part is that you might want to preset a bunch of things in the model info right here, because any of these things that you preset here um, is going to be saved with the template. So you can do um, settings here for animation, components, all of these things you can already give yourself credit, those kind of things. But what I like to do is to pick a, a certain font that um, is the one that you want to use, not just the default to home of font in, on Windows, and uh, come up with basically dimensions that look the way you want them to look. And you can set the same for text, and so that whenever you start uh, working with a file, all of that is preset, and you don't have to go back and change it. You see there are a bunch of other options here. Look through them um, and, for example, with the units, make sure this is all preset just the way you want it because then when you save all of this, it stays within the template. Here's another one. You can go to the components window and you can already preload components. This is really useful if you use the same components over and over for, for your business. What you can do here is go to the In Model tab. You see what's already preloaded in mine here. Down there, there's Susan kicking around still. You can kick some out that you don't want. You can always purge unused. Right there, now she's gone. And you can add any components that, that you like. So you can just um, add them the way you would always um, download components. And then as long as you delete them here and leave them in the components, um, dialog, it'll be saved with the file. There are a lot of other things that you might want to do. Layers, for example, you might want to preset layers. Um, you can look through some of these um, other ones, uh, scenes. Um, you see in some of my uh, pictures that I like to have a perspective and a top and a front scene where top and front are parallel projection because I always like going back to those every once in a while. Anyways, once you're done presetting all of that, go to File, Save as Template, give it a name, My New Template, and you can set it as default template right away. Here it is, My New Template. If you save it, I'm not going to save mine, it'll be saved with the other templates, and then you can go right back to your Preferences and pick your template right there and it will be a default template from now. So as with any tool, make sure your workspace is nicely organized, just the way you want it, just before you start working.